Okay, so it's rep challenge time. That's what we're doing all week because Monday, you know what we got. We got another 30 day challenge. So this week, it's all about preparation. It's all about getting the body ready. We've pushed for 30 days, new rep challenge, and then another one's on its way. So if you're not on the Facebook yet, if you're not on the website yet, why are you not? Because that's where we're posting all about diet, fitness. We're talking about um, what everybody's experiences were throughout the 30 days, how they managed to, you know, tweak their meals, how they managed to lose weight, how they managed to get leaner, what modifications they make. Get on there. We don't just talk about, you know, fitness and diet. We talk about real things. Today, you know, we're starting a conversation about loss and if you've lost somebody and need some support, there's a massive community on there just waiting to talk to you, to help you, to push you, to focus you. If you need that, then get on the website, get on the Facebook and come and say hi. We won't bite, but before then, you know what this is. It's rep challenge time. Go and get your trainers. Let's do it. Let's push hard and see if you can beat my scores like you did last time because you did. You kicked my ass. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I'm doing single arm pull, single arm row. It's so hard, I was gonna do double, but I decided to do single. I know I can lift more than me. So this is really frustrating, so I'm really trying, this is difficult. So keep pushing and keep trying if you're giving this a go. Don't stop, even if you're timed, don't worry about the time, just keep going, because I am. So just give it a go. You only gotta do five. Five's so hard. <laughs> Let's keep going, okay. Okay, so that was it, four exercises. Just like the other time, just like the times before, push yourselves as hard as you can. I'm gonna show you, for those of you that don't have the equipment, some alternatives, so don't you worry. And those of you that do, I'm gonna show you a few variations because if you can't do just single arm, I'll show you how to do the double arm one. So, first exercise, we did the lunging kick. I love this exercise. So, down in a, like a, as if you're a runner starting position, you're gonna switch your legs and then opposite hand to opposite leg, come up and kick. Down, switch, come up and kick. If that's too difficult for you, switch lunges. 
Low impact for those that need it. That's your modification right there. Okay, we're all about pushing ourselves ready for our next 30 day challenge. So, the second exercise, I did some single arm reverse pull up. If you find this difficult, don't worry, I'll show you an alternative. But for those of you that wanna give it a go, even if it's just one round, just give it a go. And put it in your notes that you give it a go. It will slow you down, it will affect your time, but overall, it'll improve everything. So give it, just, just have a go, like I did. It was hard. So, lie flat, make sure, just as in you're doing your reverse pull up, shoulders under the bar, your core needs to be nice and tight, your weight goes into your feet, engage your core, big deep breath, and then just go for it. Lift up, and then take it back down. That's one, you only need to do five, so just take your time. If you can only come up a little bit, then do it. If you want to put your hand on the floor to help you up, that's fine. Those of you that are still on the double, get your other station or your dip station, as before, engage your core, come up, take it back down, come up, take it back down. For those of you that haven't got a dip station, you can use two chairs with a pot with a pole, or grab your sandbag, you're going to do some rows, so nice and tall, bend forward, row, back, row, that's your exercise, okay, so that's that. Third exercise, using your sandbag, or those of you that have seen on the Facebook, I've got your rucksacks and your duffel bags, it's so cool. So, bag goes at the side. You're gonna lift it, put it onto the opposite shoulder, one squat, and then drop it on the, on the opposite side, half burpee, stay down. Engage your core, engage your glutes, up you come. Squat, I forgot what I was doing then. Put it down, half burpee, pick it up, that's yours. Those of you that haven't got a bag, don't you worry, burpees are all yours. So down, come up, that's your modification. Okay, got it? Brilliant. Okay, fourth exercise, tricep death and ab death. Are we ready? So, grab your equaliser, make sure it's nice and steady, engage your core, elbows nice and soft. Now, strong body. Try not to touch the floor for as long as you can. If you need to, you can put your feet down. That's absolutely fine. So, elbows back. Tricep dip. Come up. Knee, knee lift. Down you go. Lift up. Oh. Knee lift. If you need to put your feet on the floor, that's absolutely fine. One leg. And then bring it up. That's perfectly fine. Those of you that haven't got one of these, do not worry. You're gonna do them off a sofa, off a bench, off a chair. You're gonna engage your abs on the side, engage your core nice and tight, and then you're gonna run the back along the sofa or your bench, making sure the elbows are pointing backwards, breathing at the top. The further your legs are out, the harder it is. Okay, so that's yours. And then you're gonna do your abs separately. So, on the floor, because we did a tuck ab, you're gonna do tuck abs as well. So, nice straight body line. You're gonna come up, tuck your abs, then go back down. Come up, tuck your abs, and then go back down. If that's still too difficult for you, don't worry. Just stick to your straight abs. Either way, making sure that you're looking up and engaging your core all the time. Nice strong backs, that'll help. And that's it, four exercises. It's gonna be real tough, it's gonna make you sweat. I'm really looking forward to seeing what your time is and what you liked about it. Any advice, any questions that you need, pop onto my Facebook. I'm always on it and I always want to say hi. Let me know how you're going. Remember, there's people on there at the minute telling you how they've lost five pound, seven pound, 10 pound in 30 days. Dress sizes are smaller, pants are smaller. If you want to know how they did it, just hop on, they'll tell you, they'll share it. That's what we're all about. We're all about working together and pushing forward together. So. Get on it, let me know how you did, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.